Hello and welcome. This will be an overview on Enforce Data Fabric security feature. As the demand for efficient enterprise data increases, one critical aspect of modern data management remains ever more integral, security. In this interconnected world, organizations must prioritize the security of their data. Enforce Data Fabric Security helps provide a comprehensive solution that will take your data lake security to the next level. A strong benefit of the Data Fabric Security feature is the enhanced data protection offered through ensuring the principle of least privilege, which only permits read and write access to the necessary persons via security roles. This principle is afforded by the implementation of Data Fabric Security roles, which are configurations that define how different users access various records. Remember that for users to have access to Data Fabric, they must already be established as users in the Infor OS portal and must have at least one security role permitting access to Data Fabric. The two standard security roles pertaining to Data Fabric are Data Fabric Super Admin, which grants a user full access to all pages in Data Fabric, and Data Fabric User, a role that grants users the access to only the Data Fabric homepage and about pages. In addition to these, custom roles can be defined without granting assigned users full access to Data Fabric, which I will showcase in this overview. By implementing these industry standard security measures, Data Fabric provides an additional layer of protection for your sensitive data, reducing the risk of unauthorized access, data breaches, and financial losses. So let's jump into Data Fabric and explore security a little more. We can head over to the Data Fabric security feature where we can drill down on a security role to further define its permissions. On the left panel, you can view other custom security roles as well as standard security roles for Data Fabric. For example, the Data Fabric Super Admin role has all features and actions enabled as previously explained. Note that as a primary standard role, this admin role cannot be adjusted hence why all the toggle points are grayed out. We can also view custom roles that you can enable or disable temporarily without completely deleting the role or removing users. Lastly, we can see an example of a custom role that no longer exists due to being deleted within the OS security application but not removed from the panel view. To create a custom security role, we can head over to the OS security application and assign the role to a user. Under Configuration, select Master Data Types, then Security Roles to create a new item. For our demo, I'll be creating a role for Atlas and Compass Access. Once saved, we can define this role under the Data Fabric application. To add the new security role to the left panel, select the plus sign. We can now view all the custom security roles and filter by role name and select it. Once open, we can toggle the features and actions we want the role to access and execute. Once you've saved the changes, the user will now have the required permissions. Now let's log in as the user to see this in practice. And here we can see that the user can successfully access Atlas and Compass with reading rights. And that concludes the demo. Thanks for watching. For more information, check out the links in the description and make sure to subscribe to get the latest content.